Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this series of videos of Acumatica 2023 R1, we're going to talk about management of snapshots. So in 2023 R1, we now have a delete snapshots and tenants. So if we go to that screen here, Acumatica will show you all of your different snapshots and give you the ability to select them and delete them. So this is the action here. You can select the ones that you'd like, click process, and it gives us the ability to do things in mass rather than go into each individual one and hit the delete button and then wait for it and then go to the next one and delete. It used to be a long period of time that you'd have to wait. You couldn't just hit the button and walk away. With, with this, you can. So, and you notice Acumatic even added a schedule screen. So you could perhaps set up a scheduler that says, you know what, delete all the snapshots if they've been created over 90 days. So this way you're keeping everything neat and tidy. But the other thing you could do if we go over to delete tenant is you have the ability to delete multiple tenants. We won't do that because we only have one tenant here. But you can also delete orphan snapshots. So over time, many of you who've used Acumatica, you know that sometimes you get these orphan snapshots. And when you're copying companies back and forth or you're creating these snapshots, essentially what you have in the Acumatica database is for every record, there's a company ID column that's there. If we take a look at our database, so we go out to SQL, it's not something when you're hosted to SAS you normally do, but I wanna show you how the impact of the system is affected by this. So this is our database, right? And we have different tables, there's hundreds of tables for Acumatica. There's one table called company. And that's really your index that shows what your company layout is. So you can see there's a column here, company ID two, and the name of it is called company. And that's the one we've been working with. And that's my 2023 sales demo data. And there's always a company ID one just as a placekeeper. But notice these negative numbers. These are different tenants. And because it's in the company table, that's okay. All of that information is fine. However, if we were to take a look at something else, maybe we're to look at customers and we're to do a inquiry on that. Notice what you have here. You have all of these different customer records and you have the company ID is negative. Those tie back to the tenants. So if we were to say select from customer where company ID is greater than zero, you can see our actual live company customer records. But here's the thing, when we go back and we take a look at our company table again, we're gonna fire this query for both tables so we can see them both together. When we look at this, what we have here in our customer table is all the number of customers we have, let's say it's 200. Our sales demo is not that big, but let's say it's 200. But then we have them again for our snapshot and again for this other snapshot. So essentially what we've done here is we've taken our all of our database tables, not just the customer, we've multiplied it by three. So when we're looking at these different snapshots, essentially your database is starting to double and triple and quadruple and so on in size because of these snapshots. So again, if we look at the company table, we can see that these different snapshots are properly understood and allocated for. We understand that they're there. The system understands that they're there. But in past, what we've seen is sometimes these records aren't there anymore. And instead, what you end up having is you still end up having the customer, the additional customer or transactional records in the system. So when we go back to Acumatica, that's what this delete orphan snapshot is. It'll go through the system and it'll find any kind of snapshots it thinks that are orphaned, meaning there's additional records that are not properly allocated and it can go through and delete them. 
So that's delete snapshots and tenants. Again, you could see these are the two snapshots that we had inside the database. They're right here, these two. And that just essentially allows us to do better maintenance, keep things cleaner. And also when we're deleting these snapshots, whatever we're doing, we can do it more in mass and even set up a schedule to keep things clean on an ongoing basis. So thanks so much for watching this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions about this or anything else Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again and have a great day.